Dinesh I, Gaudi Nigam. I am here for the purpose of speaking about the peoples of the earth. Does it not seem as something that would be done in love that the great spirit Wakandanga would provide for all of his children in the way that they would most easily accept. I think so. How is it then? Some of these who go calling themselves missionaries, they go and they will strike down the gods of others and say they are false gods. There are no such things as false gods. They go where they go, always destroying culture, destroying families, always taking over and dominating. Who are these people? Or are they people at all? They seem more like machines. Many of these are those that are from other planets long ago. Part of those who have been here a very long time. Not all planets have evolutions of people who live in love, just as not all countries live in peace. It is all part of the big plan. The great spirit, Wakantanka, provides everything for everybody. And so, all peoples have their gods and their goddesses and their beliefs and their spirits, and they revere these until they are told not to. But it is not the great spirit that tells them not to. It is other people or those who pass as people who come and say, no, your gods are false. Our God is true. And they replace by sheer force of will and often of power that is a force of arms. They come and take away, but they give nothing in return. Not really. They take away gods and they give a man, a man who physically died on a cross. What kind of a deal is that? I know the great Lord Jesus. He is a great, great spirit. He walked amongst our people. He would not have it so. I am here to say this, that in the times that open, you will find it wise to accept all gods, excluding none. For each god or goddess has its purpose, and these you must respect. It is better to be inclusive instead of exclusive. All things exist because the Great Spirit wants them to. Does that not make sense? All things are allowed. For the Great Spirit is like the great clap of thunder that says, Yes, I, it can be. Man says no to this or that. All things exist. So, the first thing we come to share is this thing. Put away your thoughts, your false thoughts about your God is true and others' gods are not. This is not so. All gods and goddesses are true. All exist or you would not have the reason to mention them. Aho. 
So in the times to come, those of you who are wise will investigate that land that you walk on, the mother's back that you scratch with your feet. And you will want to know what gods or goddesses were here before I came and those who took away those gods came. Why is this? Because then you get to the soul of the land. Something not done except only rarely. It has diminished, but now it must increase, you see. Cycles turn. So-called ethnic peoples now will start to show the way. No longer will answers be found in big cities. Uh, I have a song I have heard on your airwaves. And it has words to it that say, on the 31st floor, a gold-plated door won't keep out the Lord's burning rain. Oh, how true. So, let the corporate world beware. There is no protection in it. And soon they all find it out. My people, preserve your ties with the earth that has given you birth. And do not see yourself as apart from it, or you will starve your spirit. These are my thoughts. Now they have flown as arrows. And I see far ahead into the future into the moment, this very moment, when you hear my words or read them, I see that my arrows have hit their mark. I was always good with bows and arrows. I am golden eagle of the Lakota. I bring readings from Red Cloud and all. All life is Wakan, Wakan, Wakan Tanga, Ahoy.